okay? I love cooking. It's my favorite thing to do. But I don't like cooking around certain people now because too nosy. I'm trying to take my shit. But my sister, she did help me out over the phone when I was talking to her and I thank her so much for this because I love peaches and cream oatmeal. It's my favorite, but I got so sick and tired of having instant shit. So, she's like, um, you know, just put the, the freaking, um, milk and everything in the canned peaches and everything. And I'm like, you know what? I'm like, that's a fucking good ass idea. I was like, I was debating on that, but I was thinking along the lines of fresh peaches. But I did that crap before when I started making peach cobbler like years ago, like over a decade ago. And I had, and I went through the whole ordeal of blanching and peeling and everything else. And I'm like, this is like a long ass process, but it was good. But you know, they're like, why did you do all that? <laughs> like there's canned peaches, you could have just used, I'm like, cause I wanted to do it from scratch, but shit, I'll take, I'll take that road. Shoot, fuck it. <laughs> so yeah, now I can make my peaches and cream oatmeal and I'll be all good when I'm ready for it. I'm like, okay. I'm like, thank you so much for that advice. See, when people give you advice on doing stuff, you're supposed to sit here and say thank you. Just like the roasted potatoes. Shit. She told me how to fucking do them. So I'm like, oh yeah. Everybody knows she told me how to do that shit. Like, she told me what she put in there. So, all I did was, I did the same thing. Except, I just added in my seasons and the spices and everything else. You know? Because, I like a shit ton of garlic. <laughs> but, I'm like, that's fucking awesome. Um, of course, mine has to be, like, meatless now. Until further notice. Um, but, I seem to be alright. So, I mean, if I can do it without it, I can do it without it. But, anyway. But uh, yeah, other people, they'll sit here and they'll take your shit. Oh, how you do this? Oh, how you do that? And take it as their own. Like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Like, stop feeding off the shit that I made and trying to pass it off as yours. And then, you know, all this, I'm like, no, that's why I don't write down shit that I actually make. Okay? And been making for years. That's why I don't. You know? Or damn some internet shit. But yeah. If I had a choice to, I would cook all fucking day. I love it. Messing with the seasonings and everything. Because this is where I do, you know, my butter making and everything else anyway. Where I sit here and I make um my body butters and oils and stuff. And I haven't been able to do that either. Because, again, when people are sitting around me and I have to be extra defensive about what I'm doing and how close people are coming towards me. Because I can already smell that they are up to no good. And, you know, they want to act like I'm fucking losing it. But you can sit here and smell that shit on people. So, like, fuck that shit. Let your little, let your little homies sit there and, um, <laughs> make your shit. The shit. Because you're not getting it from me.
I'll do the veggies when I come back. I gotta pick them up. So, cheers off.